Well, the rebuilding process in Creek County continues. It was one year ago today when wildfires tore across the state. To news reporter Joe, look at how things are coming along, Joe. Well, Russ, I'm told if I was here a year ago, this is where the home of a very nice family once stood. I found this porcelain plate just back over there. Looks like that's where their kitchen maybe was at one time. A lot of people have stuck it out here in Creek County, and a year later, the rebuilding uh, is just part of their daily life. One year ago, flames surrounded Freedom Hill Baptist Church. Every bit of every bit of this was burnt, destroying everything in sight. And then, for no apparent reason, the fire stopped right at the cross out front. I don't know. It was just kind of a God thing. I like God that way. <laughs> He's kind of cool that way. A miracle, perhaps. What is clear, this church and others that were left standing have now helped a lot of people get back up. We created what's called the Creek County Recovery Committee, uh, which is a, a, a long-term recovery group that is a multi-agency uh, uh, affiliation. Uh, churches, non-churches uh, coming together to to be a part of the recovery. Pastor John Severson says more than 500 applications for aid were submitted to FEMA after the fire. His committee has helped out with almost 300 of those. We have a little bit uh, over 150 still open cases that we're helping to work through. Trailer right up next to it burned, the house on the corner burned. One of those is Ronald Kahn. He was in Tulsa when the fire started. When he got home, there was nothing left. The roof of the trailer was about this tall. It just, everything just collapsed down on the trailer. He lost it all and has now spent the past year rebuilding. This is your place. This be it. Along the way, the Creek County Recovery Committee has been there for Ronald, offering sheetrock and more. Yeah, they've helped us with stuff, uh, you know, with uh, some of the materials, uh, like this microwave, icebox, stuff like that. A lot of work ahead still, but Khan is happy. He has a roof over his head again and his dogs by his side. Now you walk around out here, a lot of the trees, they're absolutely destroyed. A lot of them look like they will not be growing back. Most of the people like Ronald that we talked to are slowly but surely rebuilding and getting back to normal. Reporting live near Manford, Joe Henke, 2 News Works for you. Joe, thanks. It is a slow process, but people are helping one another. That's good to see. Meantime, deputies still looking for the suspect in the Creek County fires. Investigators say Billy Cloud was drunk when he threw a lit cigarette on the ground in early August of last year and started the Creek County fire.